Hey, what's up? So you've been trying to get fair for your clothes simulation. Glad you found me. It's your boy A to the K to the K, Alexander King Kwame. Welcome to Hoodie Studios. In this tutorial, we are going to take our clothes simulation, give it fair, and take it into Unreal Engine. Of course, I did my fur in Houdini. You can choose any 3D application you want to do your fur in. And I will not go into details on how I made the fur in Houdini. I will just show you how to the workflow. I'm just going to show you the workflow around this. Okay. And don't forget to stick around because I have a bonus tip for you at the end of the day. So let's get started so let's start with marvelous designer so at this point i will assume you have your design in marvelous designer and you have your alembic cache that you will about to uh, make your simulation so this is my design you can see design right here okay so this is my design here now we need two things one we have to get this design just this design we have to get the pose we have to export the pose as an FBX so let me show you what I'm talking about um, okay so you see I have animation pose here and then when I double click um come on okay so you can see that right here this is my animation pose this is not an um, an Olympic cache this is just the pose now this is where this is the um item we will send to houdini to actually build the fair on it or you are going to send it to your other 3d application is if it's going to be blender it's, it's, it's going to be maya name it you understand so you just you, this is what we will send into and this is our geometry cache i actually have it in blender so um yeah this is our geometry cache let me play it for you all to see okay so you can see our geometry cache playing in blender so you will have to export two things you will have to export this whole cloth as an fbx and again you will export it again as an olympic cache that's your full animation okay so when you get it then you bring it into okay so you already see i have um my fur already on the cloth so um actually let me take away the fur okay so you see uh let me dive inside here you can see this is just the um the fbx i just got i just uh, imported into houdini then i gave it fur onto um our cloth so you can actually see now this is actually the count for this one um i dropped it down to is it 300 000, but it's actually 800 000. the um real cash is actually 800 000, so i will just go for this um rob olympic note and i will save to dicks now you just have to save just one frame you don't have to save um everything just one um okay so yeah i can actually take um the turn off our um fbx and you can see only the fur and i can actually bring it on so let me dive in so yeah so you can see the fur on our cloth all right so all the magic is we are gonna do all the magic in our real engine of course you know one of the most powerful 3d applications alive right now so yeah let's hop into our real engine and let's let me so yes let's hop into our real engine and let's just do everything in unreal so in unreal all we have to do is bring in our Olympic cash and our fur but before I do that I will try and make um, a folder for my cash and another folder for the fur 
before I bring in the fair, we have to go to the plugins and we have to search for groom. So I will actually turn on the Olympic groom importer and the groom. So what we can do is we have to restart of course. So I will hit the restart and I'll be back. So I'm back in Unreal Engine again after the restart and I will go to the fair and I will actually uh, I will actually bring in the fur so this is the fur here I will drop it in and um, I really is gonna ask me something you see when you when you don't have your um, your plugin set you will not actually get this so you, you will not get the groom import options so this is the groom import options now since i'm coming from houdini actually i will set this to negative 90 and um negative oh sorry negative one but i since i believe this is the um actual orientation to match with uh, a real engine but in the houdini i'm using i actually messed with the orientation a little bit so i actually cannot get it to the default so i have to make this 180 maybe you won't you don't have to do it but since i messed with my orientation i have to do this so what you have to do is just do the negative 90 and negative one for the scale for the, the rotation negative 90 on the x and the scale negative one on the x so I will hit import and it is in and I can drag it in here let me just zoom okay so this is our hair groom you get that I can actually dive inside and you can see what's happening Okay, let me go back and I'll actually save. Then I will go to the cache and I will uh, bring in my Olympic cache. Uh, so I will not say static mesh. Actually, you can do a skeletal mesh, but I'm actually going for a geometry cache and. Uh, I'll set this to 16 and um, I will do Autodex 3ds Max so I'll just import it and I will drag my Olympic cache in the scene just like this so they are actually the same when I move it into it you can see but there's no need doing that so I'll actually save now the first step we have to get into is the fair we can double click on the fair and you get some properties um, here let me see now let me try and actually pull this inside like this so we all can see so you can see some properties right here but you can actually do enable simulation but I'm not I'm not actually doing that for right for now so I'll just close it now what we have to do is we will have to so um, when I play um, let me okay let me close it let me go back and let me actually set it to simulation so we can actually see um, this is the only simulation going on but the fur is not actually simulating so we will have to get the fur to simulate with our cache so this is how we are gonna do it so what we are gonna do is on the fur we will right click and we will go to create binding now 
when we create a binding here remember this is not a skeletal mesh when you have a skeletal mesh then you are okay to go but we don't have a skeletal mesh so we will go for geometry cache and target geometry cache we are gonna go in for this one right here the tp this is our geometry cache this is what we got in so i'll just click it and i'll just say create so you're gonna have this um window right here but you don't have to do anything just um save and just close it you can actually duck it right here however you want to do it then we will go to the cache and i will right click i'll go to um asset actions create blueprint using this so i will click and i'll create a blueprint and i'll just save it and there's gonna be a blueprint folder here so let me check you so you see this is the blueprint but actually it did open for us because uh let me close it and open it so y'all can see so i will double click and when you double click at the first time you just have this but you have to go to the viewport and this is it so this is where we are gonna create all the magic so i will select the geometry cache and at the add I will click add and I will search for um, fur. I'm sorry. I'm going to search for groom. So I will just click the groom and I will actually name it as groom. I don't care because it's cool. So in groom, now we need two things we need the groom asset and we need the binding asset. So the groom asset is actually the groom that we just. Um, imported into unreal and the binding asset is the binding this one uh let me check let me show you and i go to for this is the binding that we just did so the groom will be this one and when when you don't have the actual skill you don't have um when your orientation isn't lining up you will not get it to line up exactly as this did all right you will not get it like that so you have to make sure your orientation is actually lining up and um after we are done we can actually save it but it will not simulate let me try and show you that it won't simulate let me dog this uh right here and i'll go in and um i will bring my blueprint so this is my blueprint let me actually save first and now when i hit play you see it is not simulating it's not simulating because we have to um, go to the blueprint and get back to the groom um go down and bind an asset we will have to select our binding asset now when we select our binding asset i'll just compile click and when i simulate you can see it is simulating how easy is this so you can create any fur that you want and it's actually simulating in here okay now let me talk about the bonus tip so let's say you have you have to get materials for this one let's say you don't know how to create materials you don't want to go into the hassle of creating materials i have just one crazy tip all you can do is um make sure you are quick so bridge uh let me dock it so this and you go in for your meta humans now here is the trick the meta human you are go you will upload into unreal you will have to make the hair color you want for that fair you understand so let's say i'm dropping in uh, let me choose this meta human right here so i will drop in this meta human into our scene and i will go in and grab the groom of that meta human and i'll just drop it onto our materials for our cloth simulation okay so let me show you in a bit so to get the hair material of the metal human onto your cloth asset, um, this is how you're gonna do it. So 
it will actually um, go to your meta humans this the name is Irene so you go to the um, the name of your meta human and we will double click this blueprint and this is it at the top and this is the hair when you click on the hair you can actually come here and we have the eyelashes the eyebrows and we have the hair so actually the name of the hair material will be mi underscore hair so um you see when we click this is the hair material so mi underscore hair and we go into uh well groom and i will dive down and i'll go to the materials and i will click and i will just search mi underscore hair and we have this so we're gonna choose this and all of a sudden it changed so um, let me click so you can see what's going on so I can just do compile and I'll just save and before we go we can actually also um, in the groom we have um, the hair width you have the hair root scale you can actually turn all of them on and play with it to get your desire um, shape you're actually going for yeah um, hair shadow density you can actually do all of them so and you see what we just got it actually changed um, the color of the fur that we we actually had so actually we had a white and now we got this black um this kind of brown going on which is actually nice i really like it let me try and go deep and see ah uh, not bad but you can actually go and um reduce because mostly i like to reduce my hair width a little bit something um, like this so uh, let me dive in and see okay not bad yeah so we can just try and simulate and see what's actually going on okay pretty good yeah so this is how you make your um, cloth your um, hair for your cloth to simulate in unreal engine yeah don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and comment don't forget to share yeah don't forget to support the channel peace out i'm out stay blessed um i love y'all take care bye